now let's talk about electric vehicles because there's a country looking to lead the field, Indonesia, with one of their most powerful family conglomerates. It's looking to get in on the act by electrifying Jakarta's public bus system. Our Asia business correspondent Nick Marsh caught up with the chief executive of Bakri and Brothers. Jakarta alone, Nick, uh, it has about 10,000 buses, which is quite a lot of number, uh, especially compared to a lot of other cities in the world, including, for example, London. But for us to start with the first batch of buses, about 52 of them, it has already made a significant impact, but we want to go from 52 buses to later on 10,000 buses. Uh, and uh, Jakarta is very committed to making it happen by 2035. So we are very much supportive. And not only we want to provide uh, these buses, but we want to make these buses in Indonesia. So tell me, what makes Indonesia such an attractive place then to make electric vehicles? So we like to say that below the ground, we have the critical minerals, whether that's nickel, that's cobalt, copper, zinc, bauxite. But above the ground, we have this renewable energy potential, about 500 gigawatt of that. It can be in anything from geothermal, it can be also you know, tidal, solar, uh, wind, uh, hydro. So all of them uh, can come into play to process the critical minerals. So you can imagine you have a product that is for electrification, but being processed in the way that is green power. I think that's going to be quite exciting. How are you going to sell this to ordinary Indonesians? Because they might see it as Western companies pouring lots of money in, big Indonesian bosses like yourself making a lot of money out of it. How's it going to benefit the ordinary Indonesian? If Indonesia wants to grow from $4,000 per capita to $25,000 in a little bit less than, uh, let's say, 25 years, then the only thing is industrialization. But nowadays, industrialization alone is not enough. you got to do green industrial revolution you only will have uh, more people in Indonesia. And now about half of them are uh, millennials and they are really concerned about sustainability, especially not only from protecting the environment, which come to their livelihood being in global south, you know, archipelago, high temperature, high humidity, but also because uh, they actually uh, believe uh, that this is the way to go for Indonesia.